synthesis and usefulness of antiseptic drugs so first of all we start with introduction antiseptic drugs the term septic is derived from the greek word septikos please don't add there septikos which means putrefy or root putrefy or root in medicine it indicates the state of being infected with pus forming organisms anti ineffective or anti infective agents which applied locally that is applied directly to the skin wound etc are known as antiseptic as well as disinfectants generally the term antiseptic include those anti infective agents which are applied to living tissues thus antiseptics are bacteriostatic and do not necessarily sterilize the surface under treatment bacteriostatic this word we studied in antibacterial drugs or in sulfa drugs so the antiseptics are bacteriostatic on the other hand these infectants are bactericidal this definition also we studied in sulfa drugs and anti tuberculosis drugs so these infectants are bactericidal antiseptics are bacteriostatic on other hand these infectant are bactericidal which are applied to non living surface or inanimate surfaces they rapidly produce irreversible lethal effects however this this distinction between antiseptics and disinfectants is a more convention and antiseptic is a substance which prevents the growth of microorganisms as long as it remains in contact with them whereas a disinfectant is one which kills the organisms outright thus an antiseptic action is milder but more prolonged while a disinfectant action is immediate but is of short duration the ideal antiseptic would destroy bacteria spores fungi viruses and other infective agents without harming the tissue of the host however most of them have limited spectrum of activity and many show a, an adverse effect on tissues hence the value of antiseptic is greatly affected by their tissue toxicity the use of antiseptic in medicine is always local because of systemic toxicity which which these agents may produce this prevents other routes of administration which depends on absorption of the body here list out some types of antiseptics the commonly used antiseptics may be classified under the following heads alcohols and aldehydes number 2 aromatic acid and esters number 3 oxidizing agents number 4 surfactants number 5 metal containing antiseptics 
नंबर सिक्स एलोजेंस एंड एलोजिनेटेड कंपाउंड नंबर सेवन फिनोल्स एंड इट्स डेरीवेटिव एंड नंबर नाइन सॉरी एट नाइट्रोफ्यूरा एंड डेरीवेटिव सो दीस आर द टाइप्स ऑफ एंटीसेप्टिक्स we show these types of antiseptics first of all alcohol and aldehydes these are as follows ethyl alcohol and isopropyl alcohol carboxide formaldehyde para formaldehyde glutaraldehyde forma mint eurotropine etc are the alcohols and aldehydes which are used as antiseptic drugs now second aromatic acid and esters both benzoic acid and salicylic acid are bacteriostatic agents we studied it above also benzoic acid and salicylic acid are bacteriostatic in esters esters of para hydroxy and ortho hydroxy benzoic acid are powerful antiseptic agents as for example phenyl salicylate salol and beta naphthyl salicylate silate it is known as bitol so salol and bitol both are very important antiseptic agent mendelic acid is a valuable urinary antiseptic today mendelic acid is used in the urinary treatment now number 3 oxidizing agents this act as antiseptics their disinfectant action is depend on evolution of nascent oxygen it is noted that nascent oxygen example of oxidizing agent which act as antiseptics are hydrogen peroxide potassium permanganate sodium perborate etc number 4 surfactants this poses hydrophobic as well as hydrophilic group you studied both these words hydrophobic and hydrophilic in shop and detergent industry this get accumulated in the interface and act on bacterial cell membrane that contains lipids the anionic surfactants as for example soap sodium lauryl sulfate etc are antibacterial mainly against gram positive bacteria whereas the cationic surfactants as for example benzalkotinium chloride pyridinium chloride etc are active against gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria number 5 metal containing antiseptics mercury compounds are the most important compound among this group of antiseptics the antibacterial action of this compound is explained based on the basis of their interfering with sh sulfhydryl group sh sulfhydryl compounds that are essential cellular metabolites example of metal containing antiseptics are merbomin 
थायोमर्सल मर्क्यूरोफिन एटसेट्रा नंबर सिक्स एलोजेंस एंड एलोजिनेटेड कंपाउंड्स दिस आर नोन सिंस ए लॉन्ग टाइम द एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस आर क्लोरामाइन टी हालाजोन डायब्रोमो मेलोइड यूरिया वियोफॉम एरिस्टॉल एटसेट्रा आर एलोजेंस एंड हेलिजोनेटेड कंपाउंड्स use as antiseptics number 7 phenols and its derivatives commonly called carboic acid phenol was introduced by lister in 1867 lister the scientist which introduced phenol as antiseptic so in 1867 as an antiseptic in surgery phenol was introduced as antiseptic in surgery it has no specific action it is therefore called general protoplasmic poison general protoplasmic poison injuring like the microorganisms and the cells of body tissues due to this reason it is used as a standard against which the potency of other antiseptic were judged the irritant action of phenol lead to the discovery of the more effective and less toxic alkyl and chloro substituted phenols as for example carvachlor chlorophenol chlorometaclasol are the phenolic derivatives which are used in the antiseptic number 8 and last nitrofuran derivatives Several hundred number of the series have been studied but at present the following are being used as antiseptics nitrofosin arkiflavin methylin blue phenothiazine pyridium etc are the nitrofuran derivatives which is use as antiseptic today this is the introduction of antiseptic drugs or antiseptic agents now synthesis according to our syllabus we have four antiseptic compounds chloramine t halazon carvachlor and thymol and one from enthelminetics that is vo form so in this class we have five compound and in this lecture we synth- we will synthesize only three chloramine t halazon and carvachlor remaining two thymol and vo form we will synthesize in next lecture so we start synthesis of chloramine t chloramine t is synthesized from para toluene sulfonyl chloride so2cl group is known as sulfonyl chloride para toluene sulfonyl chloride is treated with ammonia emination takes place and we get toluene for sulfonamide so2cl is we describe here so2cl is converted into nh2 so we get toluene for sulfonamide now 
this toluene four sulfonamide is treated with sodium oxychloride NaOCl NaOCl we get chloramine in this reaction we noted that NH2 SO2 NH2 group is converted into SO2 NCl NH with the help of sodium oxychloride NaOCl we introduce here two elements chlorine and sodium it is known as chloramine T now medicinal application of chloramine T number one it occurs as dihydrate crystalline powder having a faint smell of chlorine according to smell of chlorine we identified chloramine T number two it has appreciable solubility in water and in alcohol number three it is used as an antiseptic and disinfectant but is less irritant number four it is applied to mucous membrane as 0.1 percent aqueous solution and is used to irrigate or dress wound as a one percent solution it is the very important application or medicinal uses of chloramine t it is also used as a disinfectant lotion in some infectious disease as for example scarlet fever mea seals etc in both these disease its lotion is very useful and last it is also used in mouth washes today many of companies use chloramine tea as a mouth washes this is the medicinal application of chloramine tea now second compound is viofoam is synthesized from orthonitroaniline here stated structure is orthonitroaniline on scram synthesis we studied about scram synthesis in our first unit first drugs primaquine in primaquine we studied about scram synthesis propen 13 triol propen 13 triol is treated with orthonitroaniline in presence of sulfuric acid in scram synthesis this reactant are reacted and gives quinoline derivatives so after this reaction or scram synthesis we get 8 nitroquinoline from orthonitroaniline so after cram synthesis we get 8 nitroquinoline now this 8 nitroquinoline is treated in three steps first we treated reduction in presence of sn plus hcl reduction takes place so this nh2 sorry this no2 is converted into nh2 so in first step we get 8 amino quinoline and in second step we treated diazotization in presence of nano2 plus hcl so nh2 group is converted into diazonium chloride n double bond and cl and after diazotization we treated it with water
boil with water so n double bond and cl is converted into oh so after this reaction three step takes place one reduction second diazotization and third boil with water eight nitroquinoline is transfer into eight hydroxyquinoline it is noted that first of all reduction takes place so eight nitro is converted into eight amino after diazotization it is converted into eight diazo chloride or diazonium salt of quinoline and after boil with water it is converted into oh hydroxy group so after this three process we get 8 hydroxyquinoline and then it is treated with nai sodium iodide and naocl sodium oxychloride so iodide group and chloride group are introduced in 8 hydroxyquinoline at a position of 5 chlorine introduced and at position of 7 iodine introduced so we get 5 chloro 7 iodo quinoline 8 all or 5 chloro 7 iodo 8 hydroxy quinoline and its trade name is vo form this root we get vo from from ortho nitro aniline now medicinal application of vo form vo form is used as a dusting powder for wounds ulcers etc and is a 2 to 3% ointment number 2 it is specific against amoebic dysentery please note that it is useful very good useful in amoebic dysentery we get results in short time and last number 3 it is an almost non poisonous odorless substitute for iodoform now last synthesis of this lecture carvacrol carvacrol it is synthesized from paracyamine here the structure is stated paracyamine this paracyamine is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid sulfonation unit process takes place so we get paracumin sulfonic acid paracumin sulfonic acid this paracumin sulfonic acid is treated with fuse sodium hydroxide we get carvacrol in last step so3h sulfonic acid group is converted in hydroxy group so we get carvacrol and last application or usefulness of carvacrol it is naturally occurring cresol it is used as antiseptic thank you